Blue Ivy Carter won the hearts of many while performing with her megastar mother Beyonce on her Renaissance tour. Now the mother-daughter duo is joining forces once again. Introducing Blue Ivy Carter reads one of the last frames of the trailer for Mufasa, The Lion King, which dropped April 29th. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said, I am not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. It appears Jay-Z is in peace with Northwest's recent casting in The Lion King. Rumor has it that he's quite upset, even accusing Kim Kardashian and Kanye West of using bribes to secure North the lead role. Some speculate that this might actually be Kim's doing alone, as Kanye has been vocal over the years about wanting to protect North from the public eye. He has criticized Kim for allowing North to wear makeup and dance on TikTok. Adding to the drama, sources suggest that the Carters are angry at both Kim and Kanye, suspecting the couple of being envious of Blue Ivy's success. Kim's long-standing fascination with Beyonce reportedly intensified after the Renaissance World Tour, where Blue Ivy garnered significant attention. Now, with Blue Ivy set to star in a new production of The Lion King, Insiders believe Kim is trying to overshadow Beyonce. So, did Kim really push North into The Lion King to outshine Blue Ivy? And if Kim is leveraging nepotism to advance North's career, doesn't that put Jay-Z and Beyonce in the same position with Blue Ivy? After all, some argue that Blue Ivy isn't demonstrably more talented than North. Let's delve deeper into this unfolding saga. Two of the world's most renowned celebrity children Blue Ivy Carter and Northwest might be too young to have an actual feud, but they certainly aren't friends, and it's all due to their parents. During Kim Kardashian's marriage to Kanye West, there were rumors flying around that she was really eager to get into Beyonce's inner circle, but new reports suggest that Beyonce went out of her way to keep Kim at a distance for some context whispers about a feud between Beyonce and Kim started circulating shortly after Kanye began dating him in 2012. Kanye was very close with Beyonce and Jay's, and despite any past differences they always thought of each other as family but then Kim entered the scene. Kanye West became obsessed with turning Kim Kardashian into a global superstar like Beyonce. An insider revealed to Radar Online that Kanye told Kim they were destined to be the biggest power couple on the planet, surpassing even Jay-Z and Beyonce. Another source told Life and Style that Kim was so fixated on matching Beyonce's fame that she would constantly Google Beyonce and check her follow account. Kim wants to see how many more hits Beyonce gets than she does, the source explained. Despite this, when Kim was asked about why Beyonce never hangs out with her, she dismissed any talk of a feud, insisting that Beyonce has always been really nice to her. The Beyonce and, you know, it's always been a rumor that Beyonce doesn't get along with you. That is so not true. Like, it's, she couldn't be the, a more, like, the sweetest person. Seriously, one of the sweetest people I've ever met. She's so sweet. I have no idea where these things come from. Beyonce initially tried to keep things cordial in public to avoid tabloid drama even agreeing to sit next to Kim at events despite her obvious reluctance. However, Kim didn't catch the hint and kept pushing to be seen with Beyonce. According to the New York Daily News, during the Watch the Throne tour, Kim flew to London in hopes of spending time with Beyonce. She's trying to do whatever she can to get close to Beyonce, one source said, adding that Kim was obsessed with being around her. Beyonce, however, was losing patience with Kim and began to publicly snub her. There was a memorable moment at the BET Awards when Kim anticipated a hug from Beyonce, only to be completely ignored. Even Jay-Z looked uneasy about greeting Kim in front of Beyonce. Following that embarrassing incident, Kim tried to spin the narrative to her advantage by having Kardashian source his badmouth Beyonce in the media labeling her a stuck-up and arrogant one card Jenna insider told in Touch magazine that Kim will never forgive Beyonce unless she gets a public apology, and claimed that Kim realized that Beyonce is not as nice as she wants everyone to believe Kim thinks Beyonce is a fake, and that the real Beyonce is nothing like the one the public knows the Kardashian source added but Kim didn't stop there she also, allegedly, 
Kim Kardashian began plotting to make Northwest more famous than Blue Ivy Carter. Before North was born, Kim claimed that she and Kanye had agreed their children wouldn't appear on the Kardashian show until they were old enough to decide for themselves. They also supposedly promised not to push them into the spotlight too soon. However, after North's birth, Kim changed her stance and started advocating for North's presence on the show. In contrast, Beyonce and Jay-Z have been extremely protective of Blue Ivy's privacy. Despite being two years older than North, Blue Ivy still doesn't have any social media accounts. Meanwhile, Kim allowed North to join TikTok at just eight years old and frequently brings her to various Hollywood events and fashion shows, often dressing her in ways that seem too mature for her age. Moreover, the paparazzi are often seen around North's school, but Blue Ivy is rarely photographed on her way to school. This suggests that Kim could protect North from unnecessary media attention if she chose to, at least during routine activities like going to school. Kanye has been very vocal about his disapproval of Kim and Kris Jenner, using North for ratings, repeatedly warning Kim not to put their daughter on social media. Everybody, I just got off the phone with Kim. I told her to stop antagonizing me with this TikTok thing. I said, it's never again. I am her father. I know y'all don't respect fathers and the idea of family and media tries to promote something. I said, I am not allowing my daughter to be used by TikTok, to be used by Disney. Uh, I have a say so. And then when people say, oh, they're gonna use this for you in court, I don't even, I didn't have a say so on whether or not they went to Sierra Canyon. Most men do not, there's no such thing as 50-50 custody with, with, in society today. That's not, that's not even, it always leans towards the mom. But right now, and I'm happy that you guys got to see just a small piece of what I dealt with. You understand what I'm saying? Kim Kardashian then shifted to playing the victim, claiming that Kanye's public rants were more damaging to North than TikTok. She released a statement saying, Kanye's constant attacks on me in interviews and on social media are actually more hurtful than any TikTok North might create. Kim also asserted that she is the primary provider and caregiver for their children, trying to protect North while allowing her to express her creativity with adult supervision. Following this, Kim began pushing North even more aggressively into the spotlight. It often appeared as if she was encouraging North to do controversial things to generate headlines. One notable instance was when she let North dress up as Ice Spice and lip-synced to adult lyrics. Kim also faced backlash at the previous year's Met Gala when she left North on the sidewalk with bodyguards while she walked the red carpet alone. Meanwhile, Kim's mother, Kris Jenner, has reportedly started planning North's future career, aiming for her to become an internet sensation and beauty mogul like her aunt, Kylie Jenner. According to the US Sun, Kim recently filed four different trademarks for North, allegedly at Kris Jenner's suggestion. The trademarks cover skincare, toys, advertising, and entertainment services. This led Kanye to publicly criticize Kris Jenner, calling her a toxic influence on his daughters. He posted a photo of Kylie's former assistant, Victoria, with the caption, Don't let Kris make you do, implying that Kris was pushing North into a career path similar to Kylie's. Playboy like she made Kylie and Kim do Hollywood is a giant brawl destroyed my family I deal with the addiction, and Instagram promotes it not going to let that happen to North and Chicago now. As for Kim she's allegedly also not happy with Chris's plan for North to become a beauty influencer, but her reasons are entirely different than Kanye sources are saying that Kim is still obsessed with the Carters, and she wants Nor Nor to become a performer and surpass Blue. In case you missed it, Northwest recently made her acting debut in the Lion King stage show during Hollywood Bowl's celebration of the iconic Disney film's 30th anniversary. On May 24th and 25th, she played the role of young Simba and performed I Just Can't Wait to Be King. However, her performance was, to put it mildly, underwhelming. This sparked a lot of discussions, with opinions divided. Some criticized the nepotism arguing that there were likely many more talented children who auditioned for the role. 
Others suggested giving North a break, as she's only 10 years old, and instead pointed fingers at her parents for pulling the strings. The controversy raises the question, whose idea was this? Did Kim and Kanye both maneuver to get North the role in The Lion King? While Kanye has remained silent on the matter, Kim praised North and expressed her pride in her performance. However, Kanye's former friend Jay-Z is reportedly not impressed. He is allegedly furious with Kim and Kanye for trying to steal the spotlight from Blue Ivy. Recently, it was announced that Blue Ivy had joined the voice cast of the upcoming prequel Mufasa, The Lion King, voicing Kiara, the daughter of King Simba, and Queen Nala, played by Beyonce. Sources claim that Jay-Z and Beyonce are angry at Kim and Kanye for supposedly pulling strings to secure North's role in The Lion King musical. However, fans aren't showing much sympathy for the Carters, accusing them of similar nepotism. They point out that Blue Ivy wouldn't have won a Grammy at age 9 if she weren't Jay-Z and Beyonce's daughter. One fan summed up the situation perfectly, highlighting the nepotism at play on both sides. Both of these kids have below average talent for the fields they're currently in I honestly don't see what the fuss is both both are receiving opportunities due to who their parents are nothing more no one is really taking North seriously with whatever it is she's doing and Blue is as stiff as a board dancing if these two kids were pursuing kitty employment the old fashioned way both would have gotten beaten out by more talented kids we've seen the same story play out before with other celebrity children all over our TV screens and radios shoving underwhelming talent down our throats due to their parents' celebrity status. But what do you think? Are Jay-Z and Beyonce hypocrites for being upset about North's role in The Lion King when Blue Ivy is clearly benefiting from nepotism as well? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to check out the next video. And he shared a photo of Kylie's former assistant, Victoria, with the caption, Don't let Chris make you do Playboy like she made Kylie and Kim do. Hollywood is a giant brothel. Destroyed my family. I deal with the addiction and Instagram promotes it. Not gonna let that happen to North and Chicago. Now as for Kim, she's allegedly also not happy with Chris's plan for North to become a beauty influencer. But her reasons are entirely different than Kanye's. Sources are saying that Kim is still obsessed with the Carters and she wants North to become a performer and surpass Blue Ivy. So in case you didn't catch it, North recently made her acting debut in the Lion King stage show as part of Hollywood Bowl's celebration of 30 years of the iconic Disney film. On May 24th and 25th, North stepped into the role of young Simba and performed I Just Can't Wait to Be King. But her performance was, well, let's just say underwhelming. So this performance got people talking and opinions were all over the place. Some people were saying that nepotism is disgusting because there are probably 100 other kids with actual talent who auditioned for this role. On the other hand, let's give North a break. She's only 10. And if we're pointing fingers, maybe we should be looking at North's parents. So whose idea was this anyway? Did Kim and Kanye both pull the strings to get North a role in The Lion King? Well, Kanye has stayed silent on the controversy. 
if you can even call it that. Now, Kim, on the other hand, praised North and said she was impressed by her performance. But you know who's not impressed? None other than Kanye's former BFF, Jay-Z, who's allegedly fuming at Kim and Kanye for trying to steal the spotlight from Blue Ivy. See, it was recently announced that Blue Ivy had joined the voice cast of the upcoming The Lion King prequel Mufasa, The Lion King, and she will voice the character Kiara, daughter of King Simba and Queen Nala, played by Beyonce. Sources are now saying Jay and Bay are both furious at Kim and Kanye for allegedly pulling the strings to put North in the Lion King musical. Well, don't expect fans to feel sorry for the Carters, because they're saying they're just as bad as Kim when it comes to pushing their daughter in the spotlight and using nepotism. I mean, let's be real. Do you think Blue would win a Grammy Award at age nine if she wasn't Jay-Z and Beyonce's daughter? Come on. Now here's one fan who summed up this situation perfectly. Both of 